I'm practicing my Australian accent because I've always wanted to be good at doing an Australian accent, but I feel like I do it too dramatic and I sound British sometimes. And I know that Australian people are not British. Am I doing a good job? I don't know. I feel like I I feel like I feel like you can hear my Cal- California accent intensely right now. Right now, my California accent pretty intensely right now. <laughs> right now, <laughs> it's not like I'm from the south. I feel like you can hear my California accent. Once I had this pa- pasta, pas- pasta. Once I had this pa- pa- pasta in church a long time ago, back when, back when I uh, used to go to church, and she was a la- a woman from Australia and and she always I always used to study her <laughs> I can't get the R's I always used to study her accent because because her her accent because I always thought that it was very easy to do <laughs> and I always always wanted to do an Australian accent maybe it's because I I because I loved 5 seconds of summer when I was 14 14 like <laughs> they would say that when I was 14 <laughs> when I was 14 and I always loved <laughs> loved <laughs> when Luke Hemmings would say weird I thought it was the hottest thing I'd ever heard in my life <gasps> that was kind of good oh my god anyway Anyway, I thought it was so hot. (laughs) Anyway, I thought it was so hot. I feel like the R is like a specific type of Australia, and I don't know if I'm doing it. Like, I don't think my pasta said R. I feel like that's just Jess Conti, because she has this dog, and its name is Milo, and she says Milo. So what what part what part of Australia says R instead of O? Let me know.